All right, folks, welcome to Nino's Corner.tv Fluff Tube Edition. I'm with Bull Pony once again. Um, time analysis, uh, time, time analysis, right? And time, how do you say Analyst. this? Analyst. Analyst. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. So I'm back with Bull Pony. Um, he's an answer. I, I know I got a lot of emails from a lot of you. Hey, what happened? Nothing ever happened. This didn't happen. That didn't happen. Bo, you'll have, you'll address those questions, correct? And then, and then uh, we're gonna go into what you see coming in the next few months. Uh, but first, folks, first, 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 and foremost, get your health with Nino, folks. Those who set their New Year's resolutions around health and beauty are helping collagen supplements grow in popularity. Uh, this supplement has trended recently as people look for ways to improve their skin, nail, hair, and joint health. I take it every day with my coffee. Uh, the only collagen I recommend and use is this amazing magical supplement. It helps reduce visible signs of aging, reduce wrinkles, and promotes a youthful complexion to the skin. Gives you a little bit of a glow. I love it. Uh, get it now for a whopping 53% off, folks. That's better than last time. 53% off. Plus, get free VIP live health and fitness coaching for life. A free ebook and more with your order completely free. Simply go to Health with Nino, folks. It's down in the, the description box. Hit the link, get started, get your youthful glow back. <laughs> I don't think I look like I'm in my mid 40s. All right. Just saying. Um, Bo, uh, great to have you back. Um, just to let you know, I've never been hesitating in bringing you on. I I know your heart. I know your soul. You're an amazing human being, and and I love I love having you on my program. Um, and and I'm not gonna lie, you you you've hit the target a few times. You've hit the target a few times, but you've missed a couple times, according to my audience. Okay, so let's address that first. Let's get that out of the way. Um, how are you gonna redeem yourself? <laughs> I'm gonna say it's not to me. It's the guy. Well, here's the thing, right? Like, um, you know, when you when you when you say like you know, you we pick a date, right? Like, hey, this is like an important date, right? People are lo looking for the most people are looking for the world to melt down, like you know, something like whoa, you know, it's supposed to happen. But these there's there's calculated dates that are just like turning points, um, or things that start they're shift points, right? And so when you look at the the big picture, let's look at the big picture, right? What's the big picture? The big picture is where are we in time? The big picture is where are we? We're but in. Do you think revolution. maybe you're going by the wrong calendar? Maybe the Gregorian calendar is wrong. Oh, I mean, no, we're gonna we're gonna touch on that. Great question, and we're gonna touch on that because actually, I asked the father a couple. This is the thing: is like you know, people are like, hey, let's look to both for answers. Really? How about you get on your knees like I do, uh, talk to God, and you know what? He answered. He answers. That's but you the made some pretty point. blunt. I'm, I'm uh, no different than anybody else. Say again. You made some very blunt predictions that uh, I mean, I can't maybe miss the mark, Bo. I'm not trying to insult you here. I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, well, here's the thing. Yeah. But okay, what 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 was the one thing I did say initially? What we're waiting for is this is so important to understand a multi thousand year turning point. We're waiting for a multi-thousand-year turning point, which in Revelation is, which I've been telling the audience and the viewers specifically, what I've been saying is it's the third seal of Revelation, okay? So we've had the first seal manifest. That was in January 2020. That's when the world changed forever. Okay, when a, when seals of Revelation open, there's a couple things. They're, they're worldwide phenomenon, so they're global, and the world changes because of them. So when the first seal opened, well, we know what that was. It's, it's this thing right here, without saying the word, okay? So that changed the world forever. This, then we go to the second seal. Then we have the George Floyd riots, which happened exactly on Pentecost. And that happened in so May. So we're still waiting on the third seal, basically. Right. So we're waiting on the third seal. But, but you said that was going to happen in December and then, or like right. Christmas. And, I'm, December, and, and then December. The that, that never happened, though. No, it didn't because because God said very clearly. Okay, so this is what people miss. They miss the the, but the Bo, pathetic... like right now the stock market's booming, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, sure it is. And then so and and then you get this posted on Zero Hedge yesterday. 
China's I have, I have, I have no doubt that this is coming. See, I just don't know if you can so put an exact date on it, you know? Well, no, because so far the U.S. markets have only double topped, okay? But more importantly, the more the world we know is falling apart. They had to suspend trading in China just yesterday for a literally a six point three trillion dollar market loss. This is not this is not ch chicken money. This is this is big time money, okay? We're talking horrific things financially are happening on the world, okay? But the, okay, there's two things we want to address. Number one is. The third seal of revelation that we're talking about, this third seal, no one knows the day or the hour. Go back and listen to all the podcasts. God will not reveal the day or the hour. Okay, and why? Because if he revealed this, this strike is the fall of Mystery Babylon. Okay, this is actually, it was actually very enjoyable listening to your podcast yesterday because you basically said, what were your words? It was something to be clarified what, what you said, but it was something like this. They're, they're, both parties, both sides are in for all the marbles is it so like yeah, in other words, it. Both, they're both of their fates depend on who wins this i mean and it's going to be this year everything is coming down to this year no doubt about it i agree yeah. with you on that and i think everything you're saying has to happen this year um so 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 let me so let me pause what you just said there so this is a battle of the titans this is literally satan and his minions, because they they call us minions, but they're nothing but Satan's minions. He's just using them, okay? So this this is the evil agenda, the evil regime against God, okay? And so what's about to happen is God set the cards up. He set the chess table up on this thousands of years ago. He literally gave this prophecy to Daniel two and a half thousand years ago. He is not going to reveal the day he's going to do this. Because if he, he reveals the day or the hour, because it says very clearly, you know, no one knows the day or the hour of Christ's return. Same thing God actually in the prophetic word gave me very clearly. He goes, no one knows the day or the hour that I'm going to strike to take down Babylon. So I'm giving some very important... So, so are you kind of backtracking right now? I mean, you kind of did say you knew the, the time frame. December, I mean, yes, it we... was... Yes, because he did show me a cycle pattern for, for December. We were supposed to see a market crash in December, which... which is a, a one pattern that could take us all the way into the end and the first few days of February. So will it happen? I don't know. But all I said is this chart pattern has been on the mark for the past five drops. It's missed number six. I don't know why, but all I know is it's hit the mark five in a row. Okay. So well, what we're waiting for is the greatest, one of the greatest time points in human history. Why? Because two and a half thousand years ago, God said he was going to do it. Now you think my things is crazy. Okay. This Babylon prophecy uh, is, is crazy because it's two and a half thousand years. Well, explain to me how Daniel uh, two prophecy basically talked about Babylon and then he talked about Persia and then he talked about Greece and then he talked about Rome and the papacy. Do you understand all of these things happened? Every part of the prophecies happened so far except the fall of Babylon. So back to where we are. We're at the third seal. The third seal is what? How do they build Babylon? I've said this on your prior podcast, how they build it with the money. Okay. So it's not about the stock market. And I've said this on your podcast too. I could care less about the stock market. I'm just showing you patterns for the stock market. But the stock market is what, Nino? It's a complete and utter fraud. The stock market is a complete and utter fraud. And those that are, you know, that are in the stock markets are fools. I'm going to repeat that. Those that are in the stock market right now with their 401ks and their IRAs and all in the stock market, you are complete and utter fools. Why? And don't, and this is not, an, I'm not trying to offend you. I'm telling you, you do not understand finance. You do not understand history. Okay. Because every single, every single currency that's ever existed, Nino, has gone to zero. So every single money system or currency that's ever existed in the history of the world has gone to zero. The United States dollar is the longest standing one. It's 110 years right now. So people were born into this currency because their parents were using it. And now they believe that this money is real, but it's a fraud. Now, the perfect example that I've given on your show is the U.S. dollar, before Nixon took us off this gold standard, we were probably in the, we barely had a billion dollars. If you wanted to count to a million, like Nino, it would take you 12 days not sleeping. Now, what have they done? They've taken us off the gold standard, and then Kissinger basically created the petrodollar contract. We'll talk about that in, that in a second. But more importantly, it's been 50 years, and in 50 years, we've gone from a million dollars to a quad to several quadrillion dollars. So no one even knows the money supply right now. That's the problem. That's problem number one. 
So we, but we know we're in the quadrillions, which is what? If you wanted to count to that, not sleeping, 31 million years. So we went from 12 days to 31 million years. Yeah. You think that's funny? That's that that is that is disgusting. So therefore, all of your viewers that are listening, that you know, that are watching only the stock market, you're fools. Because why? It's not about the stock market. It's well, about what's happening US. behind what's happening behind the scenes is we're watching all the countries leave the dollar. I mean, yes. I don't even know what's what's propping us up right now. I don't even know. I mean, I'm going to answer your question. That's why the stock market. See, they're going to do everything to to prop the markets up. Against, so why? So let me ask you a question. You know, the viewers that are listening. Uh, you, many many listening own a home. Your home might be worth a million dollars, or let's say it's even five hundred thousand dollars. Okay, in the thirties, that home was worth thirty thousand dollars. Let me ask you a question: Why is your home now worth five hundred million? It's not. It didn't get better. It got money. older. The, it got the older. Printing it, of the money. Yes, the, the the droplet of money in the seventies turned into an ocean in in 2023-24. Okay, so why is the stock market up? Simply because the, I mean, they crashed it in twenty twenty. So they it's all just them. artificial, artificial. artificial. Yes, and the people are watching the stock market say, Bo got it wrong. Stop watching those stupid stock markets. Because when the dollar crashes, which is about to happen, the Dow's going to crash and they could probably go to 100,000. But if that 100,000 Dow's going to crash. But my, my thoughts are they might not they may not crash it this year because it'd be bad. It'd look very bad for Biden, right? And they want him to oh, coast we, we're in. We're talking about that. Oh, no, it's coming. It's okay. coming. Yeah, it's it's it, the problem is it putting the cycle indicated it, it would start the turn would be in December around the twenty uh, December twenty seventh twenty eighth and the markets did turn there and many of the world markets have turned down then but what they're doing is they're they're creating money sticking it they're buying up the the U S market propping it up okay and so they're going to keep doing this because they want to keep propping up Babylon because what is Babylon it's a fake money system and so all of the viewers that literally could you know every month they get their bank statements you don't have money in the bank what you have is digits on a piece of paper i'm going to repeat that you do not have money in a bank you have digits on a piece of paper you believe you want to think i'm lying yeah go try to, to go and take out your money and see how much yes money. yes you see what you yeah. do that two three times in a row they're going to close your bank account down why because that's yeah. called a bank run okay so right. you so because the, the the droplets of money in the 70s are now an ocean they don't have enough trees to 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 account for all the money that they've created and all the digits people believe they have in their accounts okay so the money is a fraud what's the money about it's about control of humanity they're trying to bring on a central bank digital currency okay the cbdc so what are they going to do they're going to try to crash the dollar Okay, and so they're 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 coming. So the the bricks are now about to uh, attack the U.S. dollar, and we're going to see fulfillment of a Kim Clement prophecy. What is that? The brothers of Goliath stand in glee. We will cripple you. So the United States is about to be crippled. The U.S. is about to be crippled financially, and this is going to be directly related to what? Not the stock market, because if the stock market crashes, what are they going to do? You know, they're going to create another 10, 20 trillion over the weekend, stick it back in, and everything's fixed. You see, it's not about the stock market. So stop focusing on silly things. Focus on what? The seals of revelation, which have been dead on that I've been talking about. The seals of revelation, we're stepping into a third seal moment, which is what? The fall of mystery Babylon. Babylon, Babylon, the great but you're has saying, fallen. But you're saying she when that happens. become a dwelling on, place Bo. for demons. Go ahead. But hold on, Bo. Yeah. Now, I think you've missed the mark on when that was supposed to happen a, of a few times. Yes. So, so hold on. We got we to keep you accountable here. Okay. But what you're saying is the important thing to say, what you're saying here is that when it does happen, God turns it around. Within 24 hours, is that what you said? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's the thing. You 24 see, hours. God's all God needs. 24 hours. All right. It's all God needs. You want an example, Nino? Sure. What happened at the Red Sea? Okay, no, I understand that. I get it. But okay. I'm... You see, so, so, you, so this is the thing is, we are talking about fallen angels that are, that have infiltrated humanity and, you know, there's this big thing going on on the internet right now, but basically, you know, they call them the L, okay? But the L specifically are nothing but what? Angels, both good and bad, okay? Because God used angels, you know, he, he sent an angel to go tell Mary she's going to have a son by the name of Jesus, okay? You see, that angel went to Joseph as well, too. So these, there's good angels, but then there's a problem because a war broke out in heaven. And what happened? These L 
a third of Lucifer, which is now his name is Satan because he got his name was changed when he um, Hal El, and he was thrown out of heaven, and his name became Satan on earth, and he now hates God. Why? Because man was made superior to to because they couldn't reproduce. Humanity can, and so he hates us. You know, and so we talked about kids earlier. Satan, Be like saying, like, how, how, I know, yeah, no, how could anybody do something to a child, right? We're just talking about the you know, pre-podcast, but how could anybody yeah, yeah, do yeah. something to a child? Innocent, the innocence of a child, it's unbelievable. These I people, don't they don't, they hate, they hate you, they hate your the creator, they hate the creation, they hate, they hate, because Jesus Christ comes to give life, life more abundantly, but evil, Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy, John 10, 10. You see, so we're in, this is a battle of, this is a spiritual battle. And so rather than looking at the little details, oh, you know, December, oh, okay. So, so everything, so every, what I said about uh, Roe v. Wade being overturned, the death of Ginsburg, the stock crash in 2020. I, I'm not uh, going to, you've hit some from, marks, man. You have hit no, some marks. Yes, exactly. So, so people take, so, so they, they vision is so narrow. They, they look basically backwards uh, a, a month forwards a couple days you know and 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 if you and if you miss and if the december crash didn't happen so then everything that's happening scripturally that i'm talking about in the bible is, is wrong are you flipping kidding me okay so you admit that's, you admit you were off i would yeah because it didn't happen it didn't happen but but on the okay, other so you, you, hold your, you, you listen that's good that you're doing this you're coming yeah, clean in front of my audience no, it didn't happen so the stock market didn't crash i said that the stock cycle that i showed you that god revealed to me Again, God might have a bigger plan on that pattern, okay? So we're not into the end of January yet. We are not into the end of January yet. I'm going to repeat that a second time. We are not into the end of January yet because we got a lot to talk about, okay? So why do I feel like you're about off? to? Tell, why do I feel like was you're a cycle to off? I don't know. We're gonna still yet see because the up cycle technically doesn't start until sometime in February. The true up cycle that I'm still looking at. Okay, so we're gonna wait and watch. But it's not about the stock market again. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy. But I just feel like you're about to sell me a lemon. Because actually, because. Because the past couple of days, I really, I, I just, I wanted to understand that the calendar. So let, let's get into the details of this. Okay. So let's, let, let me explain to you. Um, so some you and your viewers can really, and this is going to make sense to you. Okay. So what did I say? This is a battle between good and evil, right? Between Satan and, and, and God, right? So, and so this is a, an absolute battle, but this is a battle that we as humanity cannot win. This is a battle that we as humanity cannot win. For the same reason Israel couldn't destroy Pharaoh at the Red Sea. If God didn't show up at the Red Sea, there will be no nation of Israel today. There will be no bloodline of David, and there will be no Jesus Christ on the earth, born on the earth through the Virgin Mary. And then he would not have died on the cross, and he would not have been resurrected to become the final Adam. You see, God was playing 5D chess on these people. He knew the end from the beginning because he wrote it. See, you can't, this is what people also talk about on the internet. You know, there's a big thing going on. Oh, you know, we, we got to be careful. You know, got to, what's going to happen in the future? You know, big question marks. Let me explain to you, uh, the viewers. The future is the farthest thing from random. Those who have my cryptocurrency reports will understand what I'm talking about because it's been like 80 to 90 percent accurate for the past years. How can I literally know what cryptocurrencies are going to do way in advance and predict with accuracy to like the crash of, of November 20, November 8th, 20, uh, 2022 20, to the exact day when FTX crashed? I knew that a month earlier. I didn't know the event. See, the point I'm trying to say is nothing in the in, in our world is random. There's only one random. Where you will be when Christ returns. Who will whose side will you be on? That's the only random. You see, because God says, choose this day whom you will serve. And that's the only random because there's no stopping what's coming. What's coming is the fallen, fallen the Bab is Babylon the Great. She has become a dwelling place for demons. So we are about to see something truly historic go down. I want to explain to you. So I, I was really quiet. I, I, I talked to, you know, I said, Father, explain to me the calendar so I can really get a, a grasp of the calendars because, you know, there's so many cal there's different calendars. I want to understand it. So I made this for you and your viewers. Actually, just finished it this morning. And I wanted you to, to see this. To really get an understanding 
to understand that, remember, this is a battle between good and evil. So it's God's God's side versus evil side. Well, the evil goes back all the way to the time of when Jesus, when Jesus was on the earth, right? Well, it goes back to Adam and Eve. But, you know, the part that we all know is when, when Jesus was on the earth, who killed Jesus, right? The Pharisees, which specifically were, you know, Revelation 2, verse 9, they were not, they were the ones that called themselves Jews, uh, convinced the Pharisees, the, the Roman the Romans to kill him. Do you understand, you know, we're still using a Roman calendar? It's hidden right, plain yeah. We're using a Roman calendar. They're we're a good, in the plain. Gregorian, right? The, the, I mean, that's the they're calendar. A, the Gregorian is the Roman calendar. It's hidden in plain sight. So, People can Google this. So Janus, and this is, now we're going to get into the good stuff, okay? Janus, we'll talk about that in a second, but basically it's a doorway, it's an entrance, it's a, it's, it's, it's the it's the god of transition. These these are gods. These are these are so when I say gods, they're lowercase g, fallen angels. So these are the um uh with the, the the Elohim or whatever the L right. So so these are not God. These are created. These are creations. They're not the creator, and these are creations that basically man then basically enthroned into a god, but lowercase g. And so when you look at this, Nino. Janus is January, and it has two heads, and it basically indicates new beginnings. Februm is February, which means purification, and the Roman calendar starts in March. That's why when you you know the, the when you go to the um, uh, the the Freemasons, they have uh, you know the three twenty two number that's so popular, you know, so important to them. A big number for them. Yeah, why? Because it's their, it's their, it's their first, it's the day one of the year. It's March. It's the first. It's their. It's so wait, their, why didn't you go back and correct it yourself when you got the dates wrong in the first? Oh, no, no, there's nothing to correct. I'm going to explain to you, there's nothing to correct. There's nothing to correct. The reason being is because... Maybe the stock market crashes uh, in March. No. See, I'm not I'm not, I'm not. going to reference the stock market. I'm actually concerned about when the dollar crashes, because this is why. When the dollar crashes, it's game over for the United States. The people who enslave and enslaved humanity with a money created out of thin air. And so what's coming is a fall of the U.S. Dollar, the Federal Reserve note, not federal, not a reserve, and a note means it's only paper. Paper burns in a fire. Okay, and that that and so, I, I agree with you. That has to happen on Biden's watch. Yes, it has to happen. Yes. Then it, it cannot happen when Mister T makes a move, right? I mean, that'll just because Jesus Christ. This is a very again, let's, this, this is so great because you can always go back to scriptures, right? Who was who was Jesus Christ? A carpenter, a builder. Okay, what's what's forty five? He's a builder, Ooh. right? And on top of that, he knows how to rebuild because he went through a lot of financial issues and when he was younger. So he is not only a builder, but a rebuilder. Gotta love it, okay? So he's trained for what's coming. So now go back to the calendar. The, the calendar is not off. I'm just showing you the calendar. They're using a Roman calendar because here it is. A Roman calendar only has 10 months. They don't count January, February. There and look at this. September is seven. We know that oct oct octagon eight. Okay, November by definition is in Latin is uh, is nine and dis dis uh, de December. So their calendar ends on dis. They don't have twelve months. They start counting in March. They don't count the first two months. That's so now that takes us. This takes the, so we're using a Roman calendar. We're still in Roman times. And so what's Rome doing? Using a money system that goes back to the, to the times of old. And so now this is important to understand. So let's get into some good stuff here, okay? So the month of Janus is a figure with two heads. So when you, it's in Latin, it's a doorway, it's an entrance, it's two heads facing opposite directions. One looking backwards to the past and the other one looking forward to the future. So let me ask you, Nino, if you don't want, there's a two heads looking back to the past and looking forward to but the future. But it's a female and male there. Whatever it is, who I don't care what it is. I'm just showing it's a statue, and I'm telling you that they these this is the calendar that my, not my God's using, that they're using. Who's in control of humanity right now until the 24-hour mark when God shows up? See, until God shows up in the 24-hour mark, who's in control? Evil. Say OK, so evil's in control. Now, that's why everything, you know, they start to fall apart on them, but they're still in control. So what I'm trying to illustrate, because they're in the month of Jan, Janus, this is to them a specifically a new beginning. So what's a new beginning to them? What does Satan use? He copy. Remember, we talked this in the last podcast. He's a copycat. He steals time. So what's going to happen in January? The birth of age of Aquarius. Isn't this when uh, Pluto 
enters also is there something going on with pluto yeah i don't i don't study astrology i'm okay, putting I mean, that's that's to important them. to them though correct yes yes see, that's my point see this is they're going to bring in a, a a doctrine you know a new age see the new age basically junk if, just to be polite is nothing but new age junk that satan's using to steal god's time see god's not bringing in a new age he's bringing in a new era i'm going to repeat that god's not bringing in a new age he's bringing in a new era a new era is the fall of babylon you see the new age philosophy is going to be when all of this goes down we see the fall of the U.S. dollar, cryptocurrencies explode in price, gold and silver explode in price. Everybody's a multi-bajillionaire. They're you know, all wealthy and happy. Rah, rah, joy, joy. See, that's Satan's deception that everything's fixed. But what do we say at the start of this podcast? Everything's not fixed because w when this event goes down, what is it? It's only the third seal of revelation. You so see, when so does a fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh seal have to be open? I mean, that so, I mean, does it all well, come see, in 24? No, is it going to take another 10 years, another 100 years? Oh, I don't I know because of the first two happened in the first year. Now, with this, this third one is taking it basically we're at four-year mark, okay? So, you know, no one really knows the time windows, and that's a whole other conversation, that, you know, that I've, I've got slides on all that. But it's still years out. But the point I'm trying to make is you flat out know that – they came in early. We've talked about that as well, too, on prior podcasts. They, they came in early for what their agenda is. So what I'm trying to show you is their evil is going to try to deceive humanity with this new age stuff. But really, um, the, the ones that are going to be blessed financially are going to be so excited because all this, you know, all this wealth. So when you say they're going to deceive humanity with this new age stuff, I mean, there's a lot of people that do follow new age. Yes, uh, so you're you're saying that people that are into astrology and 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 all that mumbo jumbo, they're gonna be they're gonna be fixated on that. They're gonna be worshiping that. Is that what you're saying? That's just another. It's a deception. It's it's a doctrine. It's a deception, right? Because Satan operates through through deception, and so anything again, to take your focus off God. Yes, exactly. Because basically, so what what is a new age? Let me just give you a very simple definition of it. Okay, it's the falling away from religion. It's this is what it's going to be for the great falling away of what all religions because what have i said in prior podcast religion is man-made but i agree with all that a lot of religion, religions most religion, all are of man all of all religions are man-made jesus christ is not a religion jesus right. christ is a king and he actually said when when uh when uh caesar asked him you know uh, are you you know are you a king he goes i'm i i'm not a you know my kingdom that's what it is my kingdom is not of this world so he had no reason to kill him. That's why he actually put him back up. He's actually going to say, you know, he, he put him up with two different people. Um, and then you know, basically had to pick who they wanted to kill because there was no, he actually didn't acknowledge himself as king. He said, my kingdom is not of this world. See, so Jesus Christ is not a king. That is so important. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Jesus Christ is the king and he sits at the right hand of father. Jesus Christ is king, but he's not a religion. And so the great falling away, Nino, is when all of this gets exposed, religion, all these churches are going to go down. And then people are going to come to realize that, oh, you know, you know, there is no God. Well, what's Satan's number one plan? To tell the world that there is no God. And, and then eventually you're going to have the aliens show up. Because that's where we're sort of seeing that, that trickle in right now. But the aliens are going to come on board, and it's called, you know, the, the great deception. The great deception is very It's simple. already happening right now. They've already started with it. Yeah, they're starting with it, but basically the, the great deception is after they build the temple, because then you know, so tangent, none of this is Christ is not returning tomorrow, okay? Because the, the, we're still missing a third temple. Trust me, they're gonna build it in Israel. So the, the third temple's got to be built, and then the Antichrist has got to go in there and desecrate it. Uh so basically you can call himself. So the there, there's a lot to do. There's still a lot to do on the to-do list yeah. for, for yeah, the Yeah, there's a lot to do on the to-do list. So, the, so it's not possible, you know, to uh, so, be, so because the stock market didn't crash, Jesus, Jesus Christ is not returning. Like, give me a break. You see, the point I'm trying to illustrate is that the, the big picture is that Christ is returning 
And more importantly, Christ is king, but there's going to be a great falling away. And because the great falling away, people are going to fall away from religion. And, and so at the same time, too, when there's a falling away from religion, this is the cool part. We're going to have the greatest revival in human history. So revival revolves around Jesus. So when pe there's going to be people are like the defense gets shaken and people are going to start choosing sides. And this is where the new age stuff really starts to come in. So the new agers are going to be, oh, there is no God. You don't need a God, right? We are gods. I've been to some of those churches, actually, just kind of listen to what they have to say. They literally say that, you know, heaven's within There's new us. age churches? I went one time. I went one so time. Where are these? I don't even know there's a new I, I didn't so, know Someone actually there. invited me. I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. I was like, yeah, I'll go check. This was like maybe like, well, maybe like five, six years ago. So a while ago. And, and maybe, maybe like, yeah, six, six, seven years ago. I went just to check it out. And I, and I literally was about to go scream. <laughs> I, I, I walked out of there. After, but the point I'm trying to make is they were literally telling people, all the congregation, that we are gods and a God is, and we, heaven is within us. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Well, well, I, I, well, hold on there so for a second. I believe we are co-creators from the yes. creator. Yeah, I yes. believe we have free will. The Holy and, Spirit. And, and, and God is within each of us. Yes, with, the, with via the Holy Spirit. But you're saying they <laughs> twist it. They, they say that there is no God, right? Or they say that oh. we are God, yeah, right? So, so God. They, they make, so Satan's deception is to make, us gods see the and 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 the, and the, the starting point that's of narcissism wisdom, that's that's yes, narcissism. Well, the starting point of wisdom is what is to know that there is a god you know the starting point of is the starting point of the scripture of actual but the starting point of wisdom is to know that there is a god period because and he but this god you know he, you don't have to be scared of him because he's a loving god he loves you he loves you he loves you that's Jesus Christ and God the Father and the Holy Spirit love you, right? But but the point is, is that evil wants you to think that there is no God. And so this is how the world operates. So we're getting this point where the fence is going to start to get shaken more and more. And then when God shakes the earth, you know, before Christ's return, he's really shaking the earth. And people are either in the new age camp that there is no God and we are gods. Or every or the other side is literally bowing down to god the father jesus christ waiting for his return and so this is the great revival that's coming but what's going to happen is in this revival we're going to see because god said jesus christ in his haggai 2 9 i think it was that uh, the latter rain will be greater than the former okay what does that mean it means that jesus christ was raising people from the dead the apostles after they were kept holy spirit came upon them they were raising people from the dead they were restoring limbs they were restoring the paralegics okay so this is what the the prior reign was the, of the you know the first apostles were doing and god says the latter reign which is us will be greater than that nino think about that right so if they were raising people from the dead they were restoring limbs and we're going to be greater than that you see so what's coming is the greatest revival in human history see that's that's I think what's it's already right beginning before. right now a lot of people are going back to their faith i mean people are picking lanes right now Especially yeah. this year. Yeah. So this this is the slide. This is before I went on stage in Clay Clark. I literally heard very clearly from the father. He says, starting in 2024. It says Bravo. And Bravo was basically, he was basically saying, Bravo to all of you who have hung in there. Because it's been a long four years. He knows that. Okay. So he says, Bravo to you who all have hung in there. So blessings are coming. Blessings are 30, 60, 100 fold. Okay. Silver 20 times. 30 on silver is $600 silver. That's just the start, okay? Revival, we talked about that. That's coming. The greatest awakening in human history. The greatest vindication and open heaven. So this is the part I want to talk about in, in with regards to what's about to go down. <clears throat> An open heaven is a heaven that God, as a door that God opens and man cannot close. You know how we talked about the dam and every time you know, a truth comes out, they, the, the evil sticks a finger in the dam? Yeah. So every time the truth comes about, they, they, they slam the door. So they're always closing the door. Okay. So that's how evil operates. Every time the truth comes out, they close the door. So what's happening this time around is when God intervenes, he's going to break the dam and you can't close that door. So when God opens a, a door, no man can shut. When God closes a door, no man can open it. And that's basically coming to what's called the fall of mystery Babylon. So Babylon, Babylon is about to fall because God's about to intervene on the world and cause the, the financial system to basically fall, specifically related to the U.S. dollar. And all of this is going to be directly related to the BRICS, okay? The BRICS are tied in with this. God is using the BRICS to take down the U.S. dollar.
And this is critical because the U.S. dollar, remember, we've we got these wars going on, right? How do they fund them? How do they fund the wars? Their tax dollars. The dollar. Right, but the dollars, right? It's like right, and that's how they fund things. each other too. But I mean, that's what I'm saying is that I don't see any. I mean, look what's happening right now with in our. I mean, yeah, the the economy's suffering, but they're artificially propping up this stock market and everything going on with it. Yes, see, see, they're, they're giving they're, the I mean, illusion that the dollar is like, still strong when it's not. The dollar, the dollar, the dollar, the dollar. It's like yeah. it's like you know they 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 take our tax money, they take not their money, they 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 send another billion or ten billion to Ukraine. Uh, they're always sending what what which currency are they sending, David? The U.S. federal dollar. Reserve. The note, right? What are they using to fund the wars with? The, the federal note. reserve note. Now, if the dollar loses the status of the world reserve currency. This Which it has. I mean, oh no, 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 no. Wait till you see what's up. It's going to lose thirty percent roughly overnight. Okay, and then it will lose the status of the world reserve currency. When this event goes down, nations will not accept it as payment. When nations will not accept it as payment, you're going to be the wars are going to suddenly come to an end. Okay. So what causes this, Bo? What what's going to be the 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 stake in the heart? What's going to cause it? Are going to become some kind of an event? So so here's so. The answer is, let, let me go through, I don't know, the, see, see, now you're asking something that I don't know, but I can give you some time things to look at, okay? So there's some really important time considerations that we want to consider here with regards to how this is playing out, okay? So I showed this on your last podcast when we did like a, a threesome, I think, with three different people, but I want to show so the viewers of the probability, think about the, pro, the possibilities of this happening, Nino, okay? So when he's born in June 14th, 1946, Exactly. Now I'm using the word exactly. 700 days later, Israel's proclaimed a state. Exactly 70 years, 70 months, seven days later, his first day in office. Exactly 700 days, 70 years later, the U.S. Embassy's moved uh, on May 14, 2018. Exactly 77 years, seven months later, which was this last Saturday, last Sunday. Last Sunday was June 14th. That was last Sunday, June 14th. And on that day, um, there's a video on my website where Robin Bullock did, uh, and it's actually, it's crazy because it was Eric who actually picked the date for a bunch of prophets to get together. So they did a podcast together and that after that evening of the January 14th, Robin Bullock anointed him. Robin, yeah. say that again. Robin Bullock, the prophet, anointed on January 14th. This is crazy. I just knew something was going to happen. I didn't know what. Now, this is crazy because today we're recording this on the 20th. Just put a date on there. This is tomorrow. January 21st, tomorrow, Sunday, will be 77 years, seven months, and seven days old. Seven, 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 seven. And on that exact day, this is the crazy part. So we're going to look at the This is tomorrow. Here. This is tomorrow. Right. So Damn. what happens? I don't know. But I'm showing you time points. So what I'm trying to illustrate here is this, here, this is January 14th, the first triple seven. We've got a, another cycle here. So if you, the traders can go check this out. But the, we, in those that know, I study the Daniel cycle of time, 1260 days. Okay. 1260 days, gold topped on August 6th, 2020. 1260 days was the 18th last week. Actually, this past what oh, this past Wednesday, past Thursday. Okay, so now we're getting into tomorrow quadruple sevens, and then this is the exciting part. Okay, so now we're talking Passover. So I want to explain to the viewers what Passover is all about because Passover is when God instructed Israel to take lambs and then to kill them and put the blood on the doors because who was going to show up the evening when of Passover after they were finished eating. It's called a day of unleavened bread. They were not supposed to use yeast. And they, on that exact day, David, the angel of death showed up. On that exact day, angel of death showed up. So here's, here's what freaks me out, which Father showed me to look at. this. How does this happen? But it's happening right in front of us. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, let's just look. So when you read Exodus 12, it says in the first month, huh, January, you will eat meat without... I thought it was meat. March. Okay, so we're doing the Gregorian. No, no, I, I, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the Julian. I'm gonna. This is overlaced on both. I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna show the calendar. So on the first month is January, okay. On the fourteenth, which is when you're supposed to kill the lambs, put the blood on the door, 
And then that evening, that night of the 14th is when the angel of death shows up. And then Passover goes for seven days into the 21st. So here's your calendar right here. Okay. So this is, this is the actual calendar we're looking at. Okay. So in blue, so I've got black is our calendar, the Gregorian. And then in blue, David, is the Julian. The Julian calendar was the calendar that was used when Christ walked on the earth. It actually started, I think it was 50 BC, so 50 years before Christ. This calendar is 2,060 plus years old in wow. blue. Okay? okay, so the Gregorian is only the Gregorian is only like 300 years, 400 years old. OK, so that they change time. The real time is the Gregorian is the Julian calendar in blue. So the, the, these are the blue. This is the this is what's called the new advent calendar. But this is the Julian calendar using true dates, not Gregorian dates. So what I want to illustrate here is starting on the, the so the 14th here in blue. The 14th here in blue is Julian 14. What you just what we just read right here. Gotcha. On the 27th. So so it's the 27th, but to Julian it's the 14th. So the first month on the 14th. So first month, first month on the fourth. So first month, 14th is blue right here. It's the 27th. So it's next, it's a week today. Wow. Okay. okay so we... I don't know. I don't know, but I'm gonna read a prophecy to you that uh, it's 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 a lady that I, I'm aware of. She reached out to me. She's she's very, very sweet. I'm going to read this prophecy to you, and then we can all make our own interpretations of what could happen here, okay? But this is the 27th and the 28th would be the time where you, it would be technically our Passover. You see, Passover, if you use the Hebrew calendar, it's in like end of uh, usually March in April, usually in April. So Passover is usually on the on the Jewish calendar, is in April. If we use the Julian calendar, better be clear. If you use the Hebrew calendar, Passover is in April. I've if heard you use that the Julian calendar, the Julian calendar has Passover in January. I've heard that March, late March, early April is going to probably might see Boogeyman 2.0. Yeah, I'm just I heard that. I, I mean, that's what a lot of people are saying right now is that the Boogeyman will reemerge. And uh, 2.0, the boogeyman. And I, I mean, look, I think I think the games get kicked off late March. You want, that, that's so, folks don't hold me accountable to this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to predict anything. And this is what I want to go through right now. Again, we are at a moment in time. Okay, seals of these are, and this this third seal is the fall of mystery Babylon. Is the great wealth transfer? Is is the fall of these people? It's a battle. It's where it's where light meets darkness. Okay, so where the darkness meets the light, basically, where the creation, where the L, the fallen L, the fallen L meet the hand of God. That's what we're waiting for. This is insanity because that when that moment happens, it's a twenty four hour window. It doesn't take. Well, the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh seal happen much faster after that. I don't know. Well, I would suggest that this, the fourth is three years out because, so. because because the boogeyman you just referenced is the fourth seal. So that's not for years yet. Okay. And the reason I'm saying that because if God intervenes now, so let me give you. So if if God doesn't intervene, then I think the boogeyman will show up this. The, the other boogeyman is going to show up this year. Are you with me? Now, not if God sure. does show up, what is He going to do? He puts the immediate breaks on their plans. Most go into hiding. Many will die, and they flee the United States. So basically, all of their plans get what's called thwarted, stopped in their tracks. So therefore, their plans for boogeyman number two don't happen until years in the future. Because when you read scripture, it says, and then I saw another beast rise up from the earth and it had two he uh, two horns and two, um, some heads and it, you know, and made the inhabitants of the earth worship the what? First beast, Babylon. And so that's in the future. So I believe right now, and I've stated before, and I not believe, I know this is coming. What's coming is what's called a window of divine favor. So a window of divine favor means God intervenes upon the world. Flips the funny, flips the scales on these people. They go into hiding, and it's going to step. We're stepping into the greatest time point in human history. 
That's what we're heading into. Exposure. So we talked about religion, but a fall of religion is going to be coupled with exposures of technologies that have been hidden for gener for thousands of years from us. We're going to get exposures of things that we've that we've only dreamed of, of knowing. So all it's going to be the, it's good, a massive worldwide shift of humanity. So let me finish on this here, Nino. Okay. This is the prophecy that I want viewers to listen to very closely. And it, and it directly, after everything I've talked about, so I would highly encourage your viewers to go back, listen to this podcast one more time, and then listen really closely to this prophecy. This lady's a friend of mine. I'm going to do an interview with her in a little bit. Her name is Janie. I'm going to review this actual prophecy with her. Her name is Janie Seguin. You can find her on Twitter or X at Janie. 777. I'm going to read this and then we can all make our own interpretations of it. But she got this on the 17th of January. Thus says the Spirit of God, be on high alert these next few days when I will have my hand across America and bring her to her knees. For all hell to pay, be prepared for bo both day and night to take flight, get ready and to fight. For the enemy of old knows what cards to play, but no, by my hand, they will have to have a terrible day. For 24 hours is here to watch and see, for my plan is as old as time to let my people be free. For I tell you, for I truly tell you, there is nothing new under the sun. Now watch and see as one leader drops. And they will, and will they run? Yes, they, <clears throat> yes, they will run as fast as they can. For I do, so for I do bring down kings. For this is my plan. The clock is ticking and the hand of time are moving fast to bring back all that was lost in the past. So be on alert for this day onwards and you will see that you, and you will see all that I have, all that you have heard. 24 hours is here. 24 hours is here. Two, four is here. To whom do you fear? Get yourselves in order and walk into my love. To surely the times and seasons are sent from above. Make a new way for the coming of a king. Now is, which means probably you know who is going to return shortly. Now is the time for my people to cheer and do not, and do you hear the bells ring? It is here, it is here, just believe, for my glory shall be to those who are my children, shout and sing. Hope, hope shall shine in this hour, but know that, know that the evil one, no, but no to the, but no to the evil ones, a huge, loss of power for i do and will have my death angel to pass and to those who have been faithful only my love will last to those who have been seated in high places i sh i will surely have to i will surely remove you from all classes and races for the time shall be erased for your time shall be erased on this timeline that I have set up. Now is the time to give up. Run to me and I am all graceful and true. And I will show you that with me, my love will, will set you through, through the darkest hours that this world has, mankind has ever known. But I will surely make a way to whom that are mine. The prophecy is basically reiterating what I've been stating, that something's about to happen. So, but and when is she prophecy, saying this is going to happen? This starts to win? See, God will not give a... See, again, he's not going to put a date on it, but he's, but the words were, when you go back to the beginning, in the next few days. Okay, so that is that is kind of putting a date on it. <laughs> it's in the yeah, next few exactly. Days. Right, yeah. And 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 so when you and go who's back... who's this and, that, that had this vision? Uh, it's it's a name lady by the name of Janie uh, Seguin, and again, I'm I'm just I'm just trying to put pieces together. 
regardless of the prophetic word, you have to always go back and verify or more so always use scripture. You know, it always says, you know, it is written, it is written, it is written. So what I'm trying to show the viewers, what's written? When you use the Julian calendar, the Julian calendar is rather um, clear. It says the first month is on is the 27th, comparing it to that of the Gregorian, okay? So does something happen then? I don't know. Does something happen again? Could it happen within seven days of that date? Very possible, okay? See, so the point I'm trying to make is we're at a moment in time where no one knows the exact hour. This is... I'm going to finish on this. But we're in the window. We're in the window. We are we're, there. Yes, because Je and if you look, and if their calendar is the. I'll Genesis. give you that. Okay, yes. so we we're in the window. We are in the window, but but you admit that naming an exact day or hour is just we can't do that. It's it's in God's time. The only God knows. We're gonna we're gonna look back retrospectively and calculate and see how it happened. Okay. Just like just like when the war broke out. That was a calculated time point, which was accurate. You know, when the, when, the, when the Israel war broke out, I showed you the calculations on that, right? And so usually you go back hindsight and you'll see it's 2020. So the math ends up being perfect. So, so in short, what should my audience be looking for right now in the next few days for something to happen? I'm just saying is that if you re listen to that prophecy, if you look at what I re read in Exodus 12, it basically says on the 14th day through the 21st day. I don't know what's going to happen. I do know that we're at, and also when you use their time windows, which is their Janus, their 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 Julian Gregorian calendar, their 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 transition, their new era, their new age era specifically lines up on January. Well, we're we're okay. going into Aquarius now. I mean, this is like legitimate, like Aquarius, yes. right? Right. right, and and so that oh, and then the wild part I want to show you too is because that date just to be just to be clear, how does this happen? See, but when Satan steals time, you see what you specifically got or how this is playing out is this twenty seventh, the twenty seventh right here. That's that's Exodus, that's Exodus twelve. It talks about on the fourteenth day of the first month, but that's Julian Gregorian. It's the twenty seventh. Okay, and then if when you go to the to the actual um, on, on this right here, you got Age of Aquarius is basically Age of um, Age of Aquarius lines up directly uh, on the twenty seventh as well too, the twenty first into the twenty seventh, right? So it's a transition window. So the Age of Aquarius that they're using is right in this time window, twenty first to the twenty seventh as well. So it just all of it is coming to a point where, no matter what calendar you're looking at. The scripture, so this is, I want to finish with the scripture, Exodus 12, and it also talks about Luke 22, talks about the, the, the water bear, the, which, was, which was basically what Jesus said to the apostles, go find the man carrying the water. That's, that is Luke 22, or is it John, John 4, 7, it says, um, uh, it, you know, there's a, a, a go to, uh, Jesus answered, if you knew the gift of God, I would, um, uh, but, but here it is. It, it's John 4, 4 uh, 14. But whoever drinks the water, no, nah, I'm sorry, it's not. It. But basically, it's the water. It's the what's it's a Samaritan woman. I can't, I don't have the scripture here, but it's a it's Samaritan a woman. woman. Um, actually, it's it's back to what happened when when uh, Jesus told him to go find the man carrying the water. I believe that's Luke 22. It's just start over again. So I believe it's Luke 22. And that's where he talks about it. But the point I'm trying to make is all of this. So uh, Exodus 12, Luke 22. Um, the the time frame of Aquarius and their January Janus, all of this is saying saying the word huge transition point, okay. and no one knows the exact hour. Well, let's leave gonna... it at let's leave it at that. So we are approaching yeah. the huge. I mean, and anyone who's even a blind man can see we are in the precipice. We are in the window now of a huge transition. This is it. So we'll leave it at that, Bo. Thank you for joining me once again. Um, I love having you on. And, uh, you know, folks, did he redeem himself? Come on, give the guy a break. Uh, this is this is hard work. This is hard work. And uh, we all know Bo has a beautiful heart. And you're always welcome on my show, Bo. God bless you, Nino. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. God bless it. you. All right, folks. Leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And, Bo, where do they find you? A gold twenty twenty forecast.com and also gold2024forecast.com yeah
Boom. Thank you, Bo. God bless you.